At the FAST team, we encourage pilots to explore new horizons. But one of the things that gets in the way of that is environmental unfamiliarity. We'll talk about that next on 57 Seconds to Safer Flying. I learned to fly in the flatlands of Florida and Mississippi. Consequently, I nearly made a fatal mistake as a younger pilot approaching mountainous Rutland, Vermont one hazy spring evening. My friend and I had a mission to land in as many states as we could in one day. We had been filing IFR every leg, but because this was to be a short VFR leg, I disregarded the readily available information. As a result, we almost hit a mountain east of the field. We had assumed a left pattern for runway 19 when it was a right pattern. I had a flatlander's mentality. I let the goal of that mission distract me from studying for that flight leg. I was expanding my horizons, all right. Environmental unfamiliarity relates to you flying unfamiliar aircraft or to unfamiliar destinations. The best way to expand your horizons as a pilot is to read, research, and talk to other pilots who are doing what you want to do. Find out in advance what kind of risks you may encounter in your new endeavor. So how many states do we fly the Seneca to on that day in May? Only 10. For the FAA safety team, I'm Phil Dixon.